hey what's going on in this video we're going to be talking all about maternity swimwear So when I was young, I used to always think to myself, oh my gosh, I hope I'm not pregnant in the summer. I hope I'm not pregnant in the summer because I just always assumed it would be really hard to be large and in the heat. And then I was thinking about like swimming and pools and beaches. And I'm like, oh, that would suck to like have to go to the beach, being massive and all this. Like I just used to have those thoughts for whatever reason. And then lo and behold, my very first pregnancy, I'm due July 30th. How ironic. I actually have since completely changed my thinking around it though. And I'll tell you why. I've done a winter being pregnant, but I I was much smaller and now we're coming into summer and I'm much bigger and I'm sort of disliking sweaters and hoodies and stuff and jackets more while being big whereas I think as far as maternity outfits go there are so many more options for the summer months I think you just also are able to style your bump very cutely in the summer you can wear little dresses you can wear a whole bunch of different stuff with that being said I just decided to fully embrace everything about being pregnant in the summer and that definitely includes swimwear Pink Blush Maternity sent me a couple of amazing swimwear pieces and I'm gonna show you them right now as well as how I decided to style them. So I've seen women do all different types of stuff when it comes to swimwear and being pregnant. I've seen bikinis, I've seen one pieces. Some women just don't even want to wear a bathing suit at all. And I think it's like such a personal preference because everybody's pregnancy is different. Everyone's body does different things. So it is so personal and such a personal choice. So sort of where I landed with it all is normally I am a bikini girl, but I did decide to stay a little bit more away from bikinis. I think because I just do feel so large, my stomach is literally just like so awkward and out there and in my face. It also could be that I'm like super pale because I haven't gone anywhere or done anything since we've been in a pandemic. Whatever the case is, I opted for one pieces and I decided to do something a little bit different. So this is the very first piece that they sent me. It's super, super cute. It's like a, a baby blue with like a little ruffle. It can be off the shoulder completely or you can also do straps like this and have it off the shoulder. So it does give you some different options options and different comfortability. What I really like is the cups in the inside because they do hold your boobs in place and like they cover your nipple and stuff, but they're not padded because I don't know one pregnant woman that needs extra boob padding since most of our boobs have quadrupled in size since becoming pregnant. So I was really, really happy to see that. And what's even worse is when swimwear companies put little cups of their own inside and then you can like take them out and put them back in. I hate that so much because they just end up getting ruined. They never stay in place you can see them I really can't stand that and I love how this is like sewn in there's nothing that's gonna move around or like piss you off when you're trying to be comfortable it even has like almost a little bit of a bra support thing here to keep your boobs together even more to make sure that they're not getting out of hand I love that I wish more swimmer companies did this to be honest because like just sew in the padding <laughs> or, or whatever it is like I never want to take it out and even when I do put swimwear through the wash with those little inserts in still just because I always forget about them. They come out so wrinkly then I have to iron them. Like it's just such a hassle. So I was really, really happy to see that. And it's, I found it to be really comfortable as well. Another nice thing too, is that there's a little bit of a very minor underwire right here. I think predominantly the main reason for that is if you don't want to wear the straps, if you just want to do it off the shoulder, it just helps it fit nicer too. Another thing I love is the side ruching here is literally perfect. It provides so much stretch and and you could easily wear this with like a smaller bump, a medium bump, or a huge bump. There is so much room to grow into this. It's nice because you don't really have to commit to like one size. And then, you know, let's say you're like seven months pregnant in June and then nine in August, you can wear this one bathing suit throughout that entire time. You don't have to like invest in a bunch. So yeah, I just like really liked everything about this. Oh, the other thing too, is that the sides, so normally a one piece, like to make it a little bit sexier would be higher cut on your leg. This is actually quite low cut and I love that because it perfectly sucked in my love handles <laughs> that I now have. If it was any higher, I think it would cut into your body and like push down and just create a roll that didn't need to be there. But I think they really did that on purpose to really hold in your midsection and then just sort of let your legs be free. But I really, really like how it's cut like that. The other thing is the crotch is wide enough. I've tried on so many one pieces before where the crotch ends up like being skinnier and then it's so awkward. You're just like fixing it the whole time. And this is like 
nice and wide because everything is sort of like inflamed and swollen. So you don't need to constantly be readjusting yourself. I think the color is so cute. Baby blue is like one of my better colors. So I really, really loved this color. And it's just such a cute style. Like I absolutely love how it is ruffled and off the shoulder because I can't say I would wear this style not pregnant, but it would always be something that would catch my eye. Like it's something that I'd always be like, oh, that's so cute. But then it's like, you never wanna not wear a bikini in order to wear this. But this is just like the perfect opportunity. The other thing is if your arms have changed in any sort of way, it takes the eye away from your arms that may be swollen. It puts all the emphasis on just like this cute little off the shoulder ruffle. Oh, the elastic for the off the shoulder ruffle is tight, but it's not, it doesn't cut off your circulation. It's not uncomfortable at all. But again, you don't have to readjust constantly. I think just overall, this is like a very cute bathing suit. Definitely a win. And I'm gonna hang on to this for future pregnancies because I just think it's so cute and so comfortable. One last thing about like sort of this ruching here, even if you don't end up like pushing it out completely, like so it's completely out like this, it still has a little bit of like a contour effect. So it actually still makes your figure look cute, even though you have basketball in your stomach. It's just a really nice like contour flattering piece. Next up, we have a very classic black one piece. So this is what it looks like. Just simple spaghetti straps. I loved the three buttons that unbuttoned here. So you can unbutton these if you want, or you can keep them buttoned up, whatever works for you. These ones do have the annoying cups that I was talking about. So there's the hole and then you can like remove or put back in, but it's just something to be aware of. And I'll be sure not to wash this with those in there. So I'm not losing my mind. But the thing that I love about this, number one is the adjustable straps, which is huge because your body is changing so much when you're pregnant. And I don't even know really like when I'm shopping, I'm like, I think a medium, I think a small. I know you're supposed to like go with the size that you were before you were pregnant, but who knows really, honestly, like your body is changing so fast and so drastically that adjustable everything is extremely helpful because you might even wake up one morning and like need a new strap length. The other thing that I love about this is the ribbing. It just makes it look very high end and like somewhat expensive. Like it looks like it's just a different sort of elevated look. It's also this like really cool corduroy, not corduroy, like almost, it kind of resembles like a velvet material. It, it is a bathing suit. It looks like a bathing suit, but it's not like your typical bathing suit. Like it kind of has a bit of an extra special fabric to it. I love how the neckline is just like a standard scoop line. It's very flattering for your boobs, especially if they've grown a lot. And then same exact thing on the side here, this ruching is not only flattering, but it is extremely helpful for your bump and it just lets it sit in there. There's no pressure on your stomach whatsoever. You can sit down in this, you can stand up, you can move around. There's no restriction. There's no uncomfort. And I'm really, really happy with the way that they did that. And again, it also contours cutely if your bump doesn't take up the entire suit. I was expecting to open these bathing suits and see like the obvious extra fabric at the front for your bump. And that's not the case at all. It kind of looks like just a plain bathing suit. And then the ruching is just what allows your bump to fit in. So it's really flattering. It's really comfortable and cute looking. And same deal with the lower cut at the hips. I really like that for the reasons I mentioned before. And this one has it too. Next up, we have a really fun one. It is the exact same style as the baby blue, except for it's just a really fun, bright summer print. And why not? Like at first I was just like, oh my gosh, is this so loud? I should just do black and neutrals. But honestly, like I just thought it was so cute. It's so bright and fun. And uh, especially if you have a little bit of a tan, this red is really, really flattering. And it's just like fun and summery and beautiful. And I think the floral pattern really suits the ruffled style as well. Same exact fit specs as the baby blue, but I just wanted to show you guys how cute this one was. And then I do have one last option for you guys. This is also from Pink Blush Maternity. It is not a bathing suit though. And it's just for any of you girls that are just not feeling a bathing suit. Like it's completely normal. I can only imagine like some of you are probably just like, there's no way I'm wearing a bathing suit. I just don't want to, I don't feel comfortable, but you still shouldn't be deprived of sitting by the pool or going to the beach because you still should be able to enjoy. My recommendation there is to choose any bright color because it's very summery and very beachy and like watery. Grab a sort of a fitted dress and this way you can still sort of feel included. You could still get a cute tan. It's just your typical sort of medium strapped 
dress. It's also pre and post bump friendly. So your bump will fit right in here nicely. There is a bit of ruching for that at the sides. This one sits about mid thigh. So you can still have your legs out and get a nice tan on your legs. You're just a little bit more covered up, but you're not gonna be like dying in the heat because it's just a very lightweight, light fabric, lighter color dress. If you stick to like a nice bright summer color, it is very easy to still fit right in at the beach, but you just don't have to feel as exposed. I just wanted to give you guys one of those options as well because not all women feel comfortable comfortable wearing a bathing suit when they're super pregnant. So here is how I decided to style all the different swimsuits. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. All of the links to everything is gonna be in the comments as usual. If you guys wanna see me trying new things twice a week, please subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on Instagram for more.